if we all want to live and work in a livable world tomorrow, we must dare today to focus on how we are doing. That goes for companies in the chemical sector too, and that of course includes Ineos. If we want to tackle climate change, we need to focus on solutions that dramatically reduce carbon emissions right now. With the best techniques available today, waiting is no longer an option. That is why we are investing in a brand new project, Project One, here in Antwerp. But what exactly is it? Well, in simple terms, we are building an ethane cracker. Ethane is a byproduct that is released when extracting natural gas and used to just be burnt off until people realized that it can serve to do very useful things. Because by heating ethane, the molecules start to move and the composition is cracked, which creates new connections and new molecules such as hydrogen and ethylene, a raw material that serves for glasses on your nose, hand sanitizer, your laptop, medicines, packaging to store food for longer, your clothes, pipes for drinking water, insulation of your home, wind turbines, and so on. But of course, it's not all that simple. Let's look back at the big picture. For starters, we don't work with a base of crude oil. We do so with ethane, a product derived from natural gas, which releases considerably less methane during the production process and a lot more cleaner and carbon-free hydrogen. We then use that hydrogen, which we have generated ourselves, as a fuel to reduce CO2 emissions, a big advantage. That's why today, Ethane is the best raw material to make ethylene with the lowest emissions. To keep the energy balance as low as possible, we reuse the cold in the raw materials and the heat of the furnaces. And we also use green electricity from wind energy. By combining all of this, Project One emits less than half the CO2 of today's best crackers and as much as three times less than an average cracker, or about two million tons less CO2 per year. And in the future, it will be even better. The design of Project One will allow the transition to zero emissions in due course. By running our installation completely on hydrogen, as soon as enough climate-friendly hydrogen is available, or by capturing the remaining CO2 to store it or reuse it as a raw material when the infrastructure and technology to do so are ready. But why doesn't Ineos build a fully electric cracker? Because that technology simply doesn't exist yet and still needs to be fully developed. And if this technology ever becomes marketable, Project One can incorporate it thanks to its flexible design. So why would we twiddle our thumbs for all that time while the demand for ethylene with a lower footprint increases. Why remain dependent on older installations for seven more years if we can already make huge strides forward for the climate? And why exactly here, in Antwerp? Well, Ineo started out here back in the day, in 1998 to be precise, in Zweindrecht, with local people, with their typical Belgian working mentality and knowledge. Companies can achieve the climate objectives more quickly and so can we. With 450 direct and multiple indirect jobs, we are becoming an example in Europe. Because the demand for ethylene is growing, and as a result, ever more imports are being made from North America, China, and the rest of Asia, which makes Europe dependent. By building in Antwerp, after 25 years, there will finally be a cracker with the latest generation of technologies that sets high standards for the entire chemical sector. Because if we work more effectively, rapidly, efficiently and cleanly here, we will force the rest to adapt and keep up. And so a single project can succeed in thoroughly disrupting the whole process and keeping it here. For you, for Antwerp, for Europe, for all of us.